All right, the business of bed sheets doesn't usually get a lot of headlines, but a new company is shaking up the sleepy industry. Oh, yes. Joining me now is the co founder and the chief executive of Bowl and Branch, Scott Tannen. Scott, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. All right, I was talking about disruption in the bed linen industry. Tell us a little bit about how you got to this point. Well, naturally, I spent the last 10 years in video games, so it seemed like a, a, a logical step. To I was going to say, yes, a very normal transition, yeah, video it, games to bed sheets. It is, but, but to tell you the truth, when we talk about disruption, the fact that my wife, who's my co-founder, and I um, hadn't been in the textiles industry, that's really what sets us up to be able to make change, because it's an old industry, it's a sleepy industry, and people have been kind of doing things the same way for a long period of time. So that includes things like price points and margins that are extraordinarily high. Um, a lot of big brands, a lot of big businesses and retailers, they're very comfortable with their four to six hundred percent margin and aren't willing to change it. So it takes somebody that's going to ask tough questions about things like the ethics and how things are made, as well as looking at how we price things um, to come into the market and, and, and shake it up and make change. All right, let's start with the cotton, where yeah. it comes from, how it's grown, and how you're doing more than just supplying jobs. You're changing people's lives. Yeah, well, that's the, the goal. And, and really, you know, we started this business with a business idea, which was bed, bed linens industry needs to be shaken up. And we started meeting with folks and, 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 and asking simple questions like, well, where does the cotton come from? And where is it made and what's the factory like? And surprisingly, um, it's not a very traceable industry. So we decided at that point that, you know, again, as outsiders, we're, we don't have, uh, we didn't have a lot of relationships with different So you providers. went to India, right? I mean, you exactly. went to India, you connected with Chetna, which is an organization for sustainable agriculture, but also treating the farmers and the weavers and all these people that work in the factories like human beings. Well, exactly, because we realized that, that fair trade is important. It means that the farmers that grow the cotton are going to be paid a fair wage. We also realized organic is important because it's not just, we think about big, large, mechanized farms in the United States. Most of the cotton that we use comes from the developing world. These these are four to six acre farms that and, and huge amounts of pesticides being supplied by hands by people that aren't protected. So it's dangerous. And, and those chemicals get into the groundwater, into the supplies and these villages. So Chetna is an, is an organization that not only um, puts the mechanisms in place for farmers to learn how to farm organically, but also uh, they feed money back into the communities. Okay, so Bowl and Brand should get the organic, the fair trade cotton. What's the price point? Because there's no middleman. It goes right to the customer. Yeah, customers are buying this at wholesale. And, and, and that's where the, the, the pricing comes in. So a king set of sheets is $250. If you're to go to the luxury department store, you might pay $500 to $1,000 for, for a very same quality um, that may not be organic and may not be sustainable. And where do you want to go next with this? I mean, do you want to do a location or are you just content to do it on the online? To preserve the pricing, we have to be an online business. We've got to keep our overhead low. Uh, and that's what we do. So uh, we'll, we'll have bath towels soon, duvets this summer, um, and lots more colors in about a month or so. I want to thank you very much, Scott Tannen, co-founder, chief executive, Bowl and Branch. Thanks for taking the stop.